Hi, it's Dr. Osborne, board certified neurosurgeon. Probably the most common questions I'm asked have to do with supplements. Most, in my opinion, will not move the needle and their effects are immeasurable. So be careful. And truth be told, the majority of the ingredients and supplements can be obtained from your food. Now, there are several I do recommend to my clinic patients. They're also detailed in my book, Get Serious. So I do recommend them, but unto themselves, supplements do relatively little to improve your health. They pale in comparison to the effects that amassing the strength to do 10 dead hang pull-ups will do for you, for example. So the most recent fatty supplement is taurine. It's an energy drink because it reportedly improves exercise performance, and it's being touted as an anti-aging supplement, whatever that means. There are some soft data suggesting that it enhances muscle recovery after a hard workout and reduces soreness, but the jury is still out on this. By the way, in case you were wondering, the ergogenic dose is one to three grams daily, and I would take it 45 minutes prior to training. So taurine can also be obtained from tuna. It's also in scallops and dark poultry. No, you don't have to get it from bull testicles. That's an urban legend. In fact, you can buy it in powder form or capsules. This is the way I would try it if I were you, and it's not unreasonable to do so, especially as we age, but not in the context of exercise. Torin deficiency has been associated with obesity, type 2 diabetes, and neurodegenerative diseases, diseases you desperately don't want. So is this deficiency a simple correlation, or is taurine deficiency one of the potential causes of the diseases? No one knows at this point. In my opinion, I would save your money and instead eat properly, include some tuna, and strength train heavy and consistently. Skip the esoteric supplements and divert the money towards a gym membership. It'll likely deliver far better results, body and mind, than a supplement with barely measurable and ambiguous effects. And that's what the data show.